Ashnik Docker series. Today I'll be sharing more on Docker images. And let's start by looking at the basic of Docker images. What is image? It's a file system for container process and layers of immutable stacks. New layers is added for any changes that has been made. And oftentimes it begins with a base image, which we can get from multiple sources such as Docker Hub. There are three ways to create the Docker images. First is by writing a Docker file, which is the most used and recommended way. Second is by committing container changes from an existing running container. And third is building from scratch. So in today's demo, I will share with you how can we create an image from writing a Docker file and commit changes from a running container and creating a new Docker images. For today's demo, I'll be creating a simple web application image by using a Docker file. And this is my index.html file with a message, welcome to Ashnik. And this is my Docker file. So I'll be using Nginx as my base image with a text table. And I'll be copying my index.html file to the Nginx folder, exposing port 80 and issuing a command to run Nginx on the foreground. So this is where I'm pulling my Nginx uh, base image from Docker Hub. You can just search on Nginx and using the official image with a text table. And there are instruction in Docker Hub where you can, how you can use this image. In my case, I'll be running uh, it using a Docker file. So I'm including this command statement off so that Nginx stay, stay on the foreground. So let's begin creating the image. To build Docker image, you have to ensure that you have Docker installed. And in my case, I'm using Windows, so I'll be using PowerShell. So let me just list out uh, my current directory where I have my Docker file and my index.html. In order to build an image, we need to run the command docker build. Minus T, followed by the image name. Back and dot to indicate our docker file. So we just have to execute this and you will basically run the image build process. So as you can see, my image is in the process of building and it's currently pulling the base image Nginx from Docker Hub. So once it's complete, it will copy my index of HTML and together with the port information and the command information, which I have indicated in my Docker file. There you go. So once the image is completed, I can just confirm by typing docker image ls. In order to test the image which we created, I can do a docker run. In this case, I'm issuing docker run, hyphen hyphen name, followed by the container name uh, in the detached mode and dash p for my port and followed by the image we created. So let's just run this. So now that I have my container running, I can test if I can access the page. So as you can see here, this is a page that we have created earlier. Welcome to Ashnik, and it's running and it's working. So we can check our running container by doing Docker container ls. And here you can see our running container ID with the image that we created, nginx image with tag one. And let's see if I want to 
make changes to this container and save this image as a image. So we can type in Docker exec dash it followed by the container ID. Fresh. So now we are in the container. We can make the changes that we required. So in my case, I have made changes in my index of HTML file. As you can see here, I've added a new line called good to see you from the original line, welcome to Ashnik. So I can just exit my container. And I can do a Docker commit to save the changes and create a new image. Docker commit container ID, followed by the new image name. this as you can see a new image has been created so if we do docker image ls you can see this is the tech one where we created the image using a docker file and tech two is based on the changes that we done on image one and i did a docker commit and created a new image called image nginx image tech 2. So now we can try to run our new uh, image. Or probably I'll just do docker run. Let's just name nginx dash demo 2 hyphen d hyphen p one So you can see I can, as you can see, I'm trying to run the new image which we have created with the container name nginx demo 2, port 8081. And this is a new image that which we created earlier. So let's just try to run it to see the changes that we have made. Okay, now that my container is running, let's try to access it. As you can see here, yeah, we have made the changes by adding a new paragraph and we did a Docker commit and we try to run it and create by creating a new image and it's working. So let's say if I want to do an inspect on a particular image, I can also key in Docker inspect followed by the image name so in this case I'm trying to inspect a uh, nginx image tag one so by doing a docker inspect I can get much more detail on the image uh, that we have created so for instance here I can see the nginx version in this case is 1.16.1 which is a stable version and what are the command been uh, issued in this image? And we can see some information on the maintainer of the image. And also the port has been exposed. So there's quite a bit of information which we can gather from here. So if we want to remove a particular image, we can just key in Docker image rm followed by the image name so in this case i want to remove nginx image with tag number one i just key in as you can see there's a container that's running and using this image and you must use of we can only remove this by using force so let's just key in dash f and you can see it has been untagged. 
and if I do Docker image ls, you can see this particular image has been removed. With this, I would like to end today's demo. And let's just recap. Today we have looked into how we can create an image by using Docker file and later make a changes and use Docker commit to save the changes to create our second image. And we have used Docker inspect to inspect the images information. And then we have see how we can remove a particular image. Thank you very much for joining me today and see you in our next series.